hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going to be sharing with you some fall stuff so <clears throat> I'm going to be sharing with you my Bath and Body Works haul which is super small um, but I explain that I missed out on the last um, three bit candle sale so I ended up just grabbing a couple candles um, to get me through most of fall and then um, hopefully I'll be able to catch the next three wick candle sale and maybe get some fall stuff or maybe by then I'll be getting some Christmas scents. Um, but anyways, I'll be sharing with you my Bath and Body Works haul. I'll be sharing with you my fall decor haul and then I'll share, um, I should say, um, my kitchen fall decor haul and then I'll share with you a kitchen tour of all of my fall stuff that I got and where I put it all in my kitchen and then I'm also going to be sharing with you a really yummy uh, fall recipe at the end so jam-packed video with a bunch of stuff going on in it so I hope that you guys all enjoy okay you guys so I am just gonna throw in a Bath and Body Works haul just because um, it's so small but I missed the um, last candle sale that they had on their three wick candles, which is the kind of candles I like to burn. Um, I only have one place in my house I burn candles, which is in my kitchen on my stove. Um, so as you can see, I have a three wick candle going now. Um, but I just, I like the three wick candles and I'm just not going to pay $25 for a three wick candle. So, um, we'll see if I burn through these really, um, quick, maybe I'll go back and get more candles, but for now I'm just going with these one wick candles that they have. They still have a lot of the scents that I like in the one wick candles, so, um, I just picked two of them up because they were having like a two for 20 sale, and I would have gotten two more, um, but... Like I said, I don't really like to the one wick candles. I don't know why, it, but I don't. And then, um, like I said, one of the scents that I like, they didn't have in the one wick candle. So, anyways, <laughs> my little tangent. Um, so I just got these two. So the first one I got was this caramel pumpkin swirl, and this has the notes are luscious caramel, ground cinnamon rich brown sugar and creamy vanilla super good they both it smells like a baked good really like a caramel pumpkin <laughs> cupcake or cake or whatever something you'd bake in the oven that's caramel and pumpkin smelling and then the pumpkin pecan waffle the fragrance notes in here is maple syrup golden waffles pumpkin spice and brown sugar so again tastes like you're baking some type of pumpkin-y waffle baked good of some kind. So, And those are the scents I really do enjoy um, the most is those really sweet smelling candles. So anyways, I just wanted to throw this super small Bath & Body Works haul in here for you guys. Okay, you guys, I first apologize for the lighting. It's really... Um, overcast and rainy and gloomy outside um, and my lighting in my dining room with that going on outside isn't the greatest. Um, also, I thought I had a lot of fall decor or I thought I started accumulating some fall decor last fall, but it looks like I actually only did my front porch and then I did very little in my actual house for fall last year. So this year I had to buy a lot of stuff new because I had very little to work with this year. So um, I'm going to start showing you some of the decor that I'm going to be using in my kitchen that I picked up. And then when I show you kind of where I put it all, I'll show you the couple things that I had already um, that I'm using in my kitchen as well. So I tried to group this by store as best I could. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started over here with this little sign. It says, Hello Fall. And this was from Hobby Lobby for $3.99. And all of Hobby Lobby's stuff I got at, 
I believe it was 40% off. And then I got this little pack of um, pine cones and pumpkins. They're like the felty type velvety material. Um, and then the pine cones. And it just came in this pack from Hobby Lobby for $7.99. And again, I got that for, I believe it was 40% off. And then I just got this eucalyptus stem, and this was $19.99, and I believe I got this for 50% off. They were having a floral sale uh, when I picked this up, so that, I believe, was 50% off um, from Hobby Lobby, if I didn't say that. And then I got a couple picks from there. I got these, these two picks like the, um, what are they called? Not wheat, wheat? Hops, hops stems from Hobby Lobby. They were $2.99 a piece. Um, and again, I got them for either 40 or 50% off. I can't remember the floral, like I said, when I picked up some of the stuff. Well, I know when I picked up this, it was 50% off. I'm not sure if when I picked this up, it, if it was 50 or if it was just 40, but Anyways, I got those two, and then I got this cutting board from Hobby Lobby for $13.99 for, again, I believe 40% off. And then the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby is, this was actually a pick. It was on a, a pick stem. Um, it was just like this by itself. Just imagine a, st <laughs> a stick coming off of it, but I took the stick off because um, I'm not really using it as a pick. I'm just using it as a pumpkin just because I really liked the colors of this of this pumpkin. So I cannot remember how much I got this for. Um, so I can't help you out there. <laughs> but I did get it. Whatever price it was, it was 40% off. Oh, and then I did get this from Hobby Lobby too. I'm sorry. This is the last thing. I got this cup for $7.99. And it's just got this really, really pretty detail and color to it. All right, then I'm gonna move on to the couple things I got from Target, which is this amber bottle for $14.99 from the Hearth and Hand brand at Target there. And then this is also from the Hearth and Hand collection for $1.99, just a golden fall leaf stem. Okay, and then the next place I went to was Joanne Fabrics and I just got this knit pumpkin I love the color on it and this was $12.99 and I can't remember they were having a sale at Joanne on their fall stuff as well and I can't remember what the discount was that I got this on I know it was at least 40% off and it could have been a little bit more um, even there but I'm not sure so less than $12.99 <laughs> and then I got this sign from there as well it says give thanks it's got this like leather faux leather on this piece of wood and it's shaped like a leaf and this was oh this one I took this was actually okay so this was hanging on this this was attached to this little hole here but I took that off because I know I wasn't gonna hang it and this is $39.99 but again I got it for 40 to 50, maybe even 60%. I, I don't know. I cannot tell you. Um, but it was definitely less than $39. So got that. And then the last place I went to for fall decor for my kitchen was Home Goods. And then this isn't really fall, but I'm going to be putting this in my kitchen. So I thought I would still share it. It's just the set of bamboo utensils, it's a six piece set. And like I said, I got it from Home Goods. It was $3.99. So I got those. I really am liking the wood and the black utensils for my kitchen. So I just grabbed some more wooden ones because I think I only have like two. And then I just did grab this um, kitchen towel from Home Goods as well. And this was $5.99. So I picked up those pieces. I have um I'm having a really, I had a really hard time finding anything from like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, 
in in my area for fall stuff they just didn't really have much so and that's where I really I like, I like to get like pillows and um, like kitchen towels from there and they just didn't really have a lot but I ended up with this this one so that is all of the decor that I got for my kitchen for fall so I am going to um, try to use some of this stuff I think I'll probably end up using all of it I didn't get a whole lot so I'll just kind of play with this stuff um, some of this stuff I already know where I'm putting it like I'm putting this over my um, my stove which is why I already knew that I wasn't gonna hang it because it wouldn't have fit to hang and I'm not really a fan of this hanging look but anyways um, I'll see what I can do with this and I will show you kind of what the end result ended up looking like okay so I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of what my fall decor looks like in my kitchen and I just kind of wanted to give you an idea I'm just standing at my back door here and kind of what you see when when you walk in so I'm just gonna get started over here uh, by my Keurig I just have my Keurig here and then I have this coffee cup that I got from Joanne my Hobby Lobby <laughs> and then um, I've had this canister I just ended up putting in our Keurig cups in here and actually my husband is the only one who um, uses this Keurig currently I've gone through stages where <laughs> I've used it and then I've not and I've used it I'm not right now I'm in a not using it stage so these are actually all my husband's K, K cups but um, I just put them in this nicer glass container they used to be in like a uh, recycled like can like our soda can box or something like that um, but anyway so that's those and then this is also something I already had this I'm sorry the lighting is awful over here but um, I have had this I think I got this from like TJ Maxx or something a few years back um, but uh, like I said I had that and then um, this is a Hobby Lobby pick that I just ripped the the pick off of it and then um, I got this um, also from Hobby Lobby cutting board so that's that and then right next to it I have just these canisters I've had these these are the hearth and hand line canisters and then back there we have had those um, those cutting boards um, we don't use them that often so I just thought I'd throw them back there as a little backsplash type <laughs> type thing and then I actually already had this pumpkin as well I just spray painted it um, like a copper color and then a brown and I um, spray painted the brown stem as well it used to be um, white which I don't mind white as you can see um, but it was like an iridescent looking white and it just didn't go with uh, my decor anymore and I knew copper was really popular this year so I thought I would try sp spray painting it copper and then the top was a brown the the stem was a brown but it was also like that iridescent -y color brown so um, to make it match more I just spray painted it brown there and then um, this is just that eucalyptus stem that I got from Hobby Lobby and then these pumpkins these three pumpkins and then the pine cones all came in that um, came in like a, a bag of pumpkins that I also got from Hobby Lobby so that is what this area is looking like and then I have nothing over here and then um, here's where I put those wooden um, utensils and I've had I like I said I had a couple other wooden utensils and then I have these black utensils um, and then this is also a hearth and hand um, canister that I got from Target years back so they're all in that and then here is the sign that I got from Joann's the give thanks sign here is just one of my Bath and Body Works pumpkins the caramel pumpkin swirl it smells so good 
and then here is the um the dish towel that I got from Home Goods. And then nothing over here. You will notice in this video that this area is cleared up a little bit. Uh, my next plan is to clear out these cupboards. I already started in this cupboard. I just got to go through this cupboard and declutter some and clear some of it out because I want to move this stuff up into this cupboard so that, you know, the only thing that will be on this cupboard is probably the lotion and then like any very very recent mail and then that'll end up up there as well that's kind of my thought process so this will be completely cleared off for the most part but um, yeah some work was done there and then over here you'll see some more decluttering was done there's like nothing on this counter except for this lamp which I like the lamp but I've had it now for I think at least a year if not more and I thought, oh, it might be cute to be over here to turn on at night or if we leave for the evening and want to come back to a little bit of light in the room, maybe we'll turn it on. No, nope, haven't used it. <laughs> so I've been thinking of maybe donating it, but for now it sits there. And then we always have our kids' tablets charging there and our phones charge there and everything. Um, so that is what it is over there. Uh, but then here I have this cutting board and um, I have had this and I think I got this from Hobby Lobby as well the cutting board um, I just got this I believe this summer and then the rest of this stuff is all new so this is that um, hearth and hand base I got from Target and then these picks that I got from Hobby Lobby this sign I got from Hobby Lobby and it actually had like a little um, metal like nail thing in it with like a like a tw piece of twine around it to hang it but I'm not hanging it it's just sitting on the table so I just took it off and then this was from Joanne Fabrics and then this is just a pick from the Hearth and Handline at Target and that is the extent of the decor here in my living room um, for fall. I'll probably um, have my son decorate this with some fall um, like window clings but other than that this is kind of gonna be it for for fall this year. Alright so now I'm going to share with you a really easy yummy fall chili recipe. Um, this chili recipe, um, the name of it is called Easy Keto Chili. Um, it's really good even if you don't follow keto. And also if you're weird like me and don't like beans in your chili. <laughs> I actually don't like beans at all. I only like them, um, if they're green beans. Any other bean I do not like. Um, but you could also add beans to this recipe if you'd like. Um, whatever kind of chili beans you like in your chili, you could add them and it would be probably just as good. But um, I have made this in the past and it is really good. So I wanted to share it with you guys, um, especially with fall coming up. It's just a really easy, yummy, warm fall chili. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the ingredients you will need for this recipe. And you're going to need two pounds of ground beef, or you could do ground turkey if you'd like. And I'm sure you could do ground chicken as well. Um, the recipe just said you could do beef um, or turkey, so any type of ground meat that you like, but um, two pounds of it. And then you're going to want one green bell pepper that you're going to want to finely chop. And then um, you're gonna, you only need, the recipe only calls for one jalapeno seeded and finely chopped. Um, but if you want a little bit spicier, you can add more. So um, I'm actually gonna be doing two jalapenos in my recipe because I really like spicy and I like jalapenos. And then I'm going to do the easy way out and I'm just gonna do um, this ready to use minced garlic. but. You're going to want to do two cloves of garlic minced. So 
Um, you could do it this way or you could get two cloves and mince them yourself. And then you're going to want to do one 10 ounce can of tomatoes with green chilies in it. And you're going to um, just dump this whole thing in it. You're not going to drain it or anything. Just put the whole can in there. And then you're going to want to do one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. And then you're going to want to do one 32 ounce carton of beef broth. And then one seven ounce can of tomato paste. And then for the spices that you're going to want to do, you're going to want to do two tablespoons of chili powder. And you can also put more than that in it if you want it spicier. Um, I just keep the two tablespoons just because I already add an extra jalapeno in it. And I like super spicy. My husband likes it spicy, but he doesn't like it like as spicy as I probably would. So I usually keep to the two tablespoons of chili powder in there. And then um, one teaspoon of oregano. One teaspoon of cumin. And then one teaspoon of garlic powder. And then you're going to want to do um, pepper and salt to taste. So those are all the ingredients. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to brown and ground up your, your ground meat. All right, so I am browning the meat right now. And then while that's browning, I cut up my green bell pepper and my jalapenos. And then... Um, I will, I'm browning this meat in the pot that I'm actually going to be putting in all my ingredients and cooking the chili in. So this is also a one pot recipe, which I'm sure most chili recipes are, but um, I just wanted to mention that because once again, it's just another easy step to this recipe. Um, so right now I'm actually going to open up all of my um cans of tomatoes and the broth. Alright, so my two pounds of ground beef has been browned and it has been drained. So now I'm going to add my green bell pepper that's been finely chopped. And um, like I said, the recipe calls for one, but I have my two jalapenos seeded and finely chopped that I'm going to add. All right, so my green peppers are in there, my jalapenos are in there, and then um, I did two cloves of garlic minced, which equals about a teaspoon, according to the, the jar that I got my minced garlic from. And then you're gonna wanna add your one 10 ounce can of tomatoes with green chilies undrained. So you're gonna wanna pour the whole thing in there. Then you're going to want to do your one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. And then your one 32 ounce carton of beef broth. Okay, and then um, you're going to want to do uh, seven ounces of um, tomato paste. Now, my tomato paste is a 12 ounce can, so I'm just going to do about half of this. All right, and then you're going to want to add your spices. So your two tablespoons of chili powder, and again, you can add more if you want it a little spicier. Your teaspoon of of oregano, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and then salt and pepper to taste. So I have added all of that in here 
And then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is stir all of these ingredients together really well. And then I'll go on with the next step in just a minute. All right, so here's what it's looking like now. I have made sure I stirred all the ingredients together really well. So now you're just going to allow the chili to simmer over medium low heat and uncovered for 30 minutes or until the tomato juice has reduced and thickened. And then that's it guys, so pretty easy. And then of course you can add what you'd like to it after it's done. You can add your sour cream and cheese and chives or whatever it is that you like to add to your chili for toppings. You can do that as well. And then like I said, another thing you could add if you do like beans is you could add beans to this recipe. But um, this is a lower carb chili. So for all you keto people out there, um, I think this is about eight and a half carbs for a bowl, like a good sized bowl of it. So um, not too bad for a chili recipe um, as far as keto goes. Okay, you guys, and then I just wanted to show you the finished product of the chili. Um, I just added some shredded cheese on there and a little bit of sour cream. That's just how I like to eat my chili. Um, but yeah, that's it. So um, however long it takes, um, like I said, for your chili to kind of thicken up a little bit, and obviously the longer you simmer, you simmer it, the more taste it'll have and probably it'll thicken up more. Um, but ours thickened up good enough how we like it. It was about 30 minutes simmering. So anyways, that's it. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. All right, guys. And that is going to wrap up my little kitchen fall decor video plus bath and body works haul plus recipe video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye!